Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It's Friday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe out there. It's amateur hour tonight. Um, so, take two. This time with sound. And I did check the sound. The sound is working. Just uploaded a video. The sound is working. Um, last night, and again tonight, I'm going to throw on the, um, the Jack Smith uh, subpoenas of the staff at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, whether, there, I guess he put out a number of subpoenas to Trump's inner circle, as well as uh, people who worked at Mar-a-Lago uh, to get more information on the classified documents case against Donald Trump. We know that uh, due to video, that, uh, video surveillance that the documents were moved around. And I think he's trying to find out what was the general knowledge of those documents amongst the staff. Obviously, some of the staff are going to have no clue about it. Some are going to know rumors and hearsay about it. Others were involved with actually moving them. And if they were moving them, did they know what they were moving? So <clears throat> it's they will probably get more truth and more story out of these people than they will out of the, uh, the ones involved, obviously, because the ones involved have reason to lie and to... Uh, to uh, obscure the truth, whereas the the lower people, they don't, and they've got a lot to lose if they try to cover up. So the question was, will these subpoenas bear fruit? Will they positively impact the case and help with convictions? So uh, what we have is uh, fighting from higher ground. This is probably representing the DOJ having the advantage when they ask for these items on this because they've got the power and the weight of the government and again, for the um, for you know the, for the help for the staff, it's not worth it for them to lie. And it's going to be the end. This is going to be the end. And I, you know, you can think of this as being the people who were guilty, the people that were asking the staff to just do stuff. They are just going to be the information that's going to come out is just going to be sword after sword after sword in the back. It's really going to be the end of the people that were responsible for this. Um, I want to take a step back for a second. Uh, these videos can sometimes trigger uh, those people that uh, really support Donald Trump and, and the MAGA movement that somehow find themselves on my channel. Um, all I want to say is, is that understand that Donald Trump had classified documents that he was not supposed to have at Mar-a-Lago. Joe Biden had classified documents he was supposed to have at like his library. Mike Pence had documents he wasn't supposed to have in, in his offices. So they've all had those documents. Here's the difference. When Joe Biden found those documents, he called the archives and notified the FBI they had those documents. They came to get those documents and then they performed an investigation to try and find out how we end up with those documents and were any laws broken and what's the impact based on these documents. When Mike Pence found his documents, same thing. Contact uh, archives, contact FBI, there's an investigation and evaluation of those documents and what's the impact? And why were they there? How did that happen? With Donald Trump, several attempts were made to get the documents. Uh, there was a deception being made. We didn't have documents. Oh, we gave you all the documents. Oh, well, here's some documents. Now you've got all the documents and there's still more documents. When they did when they did the the raid, which was actually a lawful search, because they had, uh, they basically they had search warrants signed off by a judge. They had to convince a judge it was worth, you know, basically serving a search warrant on a sitting former president, on a former president, high bar to set. And then after that, they found Trump's lawyers found more documents, and Trump saying that they weren't the government's documents; they were his documents, his big beautiful documents. You notice the difference? One guy's fighting to keep these things and everybody's like, eh, get rid of these things. I don't want them. That's a problem. So again, for the MAGA folks watching this, and this should resonate with you, if somebody breaks the law, you know, party of law and order, if somebody breaks the law, hold them accountable. Stop making excuses for him. Donald Trump's a grown ass man. If he's breaking the law, and believe me, there's lawyers left, right, and center telling him not to do whatever it was that he did, well, you know, stop making excuses. And then when he's caught and he says, no, 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 they're mine. Again, lawyers tell him that they're not. And he's lying about it. Stop making excuses for him. 
He's got to grow up. He's 75 years old. He's running out of time. You know? Y'all know a neighbor who spoils their kid and their kid never grew up and always blames everybody else for everything that goes wrong with them. That's this guy. He just had to happen to have hundreds of millions of dollars thrown at him. Uh, newspaper articles, magazine articles, a lot of TV time and a TV show. But he's no different. End of rant. So is this going to help his case? Yeah, it's going to help his case. It's going to, it's really going to be the undoing of the people that were doing the wrong and the people who were wrongdoers need to be held to count. In the past, we've got the group work and it's work in the shadows. Um, this, you know, th this could be, you know, think of the, uh, the documents themselves are being, you've got the worker who's none, none the wiser of the plotting is going on by these two. You know, he's just, he's just a worker. He's just doing what he's told. And he may not know what, what he's been working with. Uh, alternatively, this can also be, this is now the FBI working with various people to bring them in to get the story that's going on. Current situation, Ace of Wands. Okay, you know, the time of subtlety is over. We're now bringing out the big club. We're going to make this happen. The, these folks at Mar-a-Lago probably should have been subpoenaed a long time ago to find out what they know. And most of them are going to be innocent. And even the ones that kind of knew what were going on, they're small fish. But likely they have information on the bigger fish. We're not interested in holding a bellboy to account for moving records, and even if he knew there were records. Yeah, he might have known he should have reported it. He's a bellboy. Leave him the heck alone. What about the guy who told him to move him? and told them not to worry about it, and here's a couple extra hundred bucks. Maybe that's the guy you should be going after. Overall, it's people holding on to information, not wanting to let go, you know, afraid to, to let people know what's going on. You know, they're gonna lose their job if they talk. I'm sure they got threatened with that. Also, the Trump lawyers are representing these, um, these Mar-a-Lago uh, members. So the, the lawyers are going to make sure that these workers say as little as possible. And we know that from Cassidy Hutchinson because she had Trump lawyers and they were basically telling her to commit fraud. Why would it be any different? It's the same playbook. Just, you know, give them as little as possible, say you don't remember and try and keep as much information in. That's what they're, they're overall dealing with. And the lesson to be learned is the secrets, the secrets that are starting to be revealed. And the staff We'll start revealing those secrets, which means that the FBI will then, or the FBI, the Department of Justice, will be able to ask more questions because now they have more data. And then the people that have lied to them before have to either come up with, either have to fess up and own it, which they won't do, or they're going to have to come up with new lies that are going to make less sense. They're better off cutting a deal. Outcome, Queen of Wands. Um, this is going to... Uh, this is going to lead more action more you know, this is again this is contemplation it's like okay we've got this information now what are we going to do with it who are we going after and it's going to be it's not a blanket they're not going after everybody it's not the five of wands where you just grab everybody and throw them in there and hope for the best this is going to be strategic they're going after the they're going to go after the big fish they're not interested in the foot soldier they want the leaders underneath it all king of pentacles this is going after Donald Trump himself, plain and simple. Will this investigation bear fruit? Yeah. Is it gonna be uh, difficult to get it? Yeah, because uh, people are gonna to be told to be quiet, not talk. But in the end of the day, the Department of Justice has the advantage and they're going to find out more information from these folks and it's going to be impactful to the case. Okay, so yay, Team Justice. Yay, you know, hooray for truth on this one. Um, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Throw some comments in the comment uh, section. I do respond to comments, pretty much all of them. And um, if you like the video and want to share it with friends, go do that. Just trying to grow the channel, and I appreciate your uh, watching my videos and giving me the support that you give me. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon.